Ag is brought to you by Terry County Tractor. Welcome back. The Texas Farm Bureau has launched a new grant program in the hopes of better equipping ag mechanics educators. Plus, committee leaders have released frameworks for a new farm bill. KCBD News Channel 11's Parker Schaffner has that and more in this week's Focus on Ag. We'll start with that new grant program by the Texas Farm Bureau. It will offer 10 $2,500 grants to ag mechanics educators. In order to qualify, you must be an active 9th through 12th grade teacher in a public school or an accredited non-public secondary educational institution addressing agriculture mechanics and metal technologies. Skills in agricultural mechanics are um, dwindling. There are not many people that are skilled in this area, and we want to have more um, that can provide these services. All applications must include a detailed budget with estimated expenses. Applicants must also demonstrate how the funds will be used to increase students' knowledge in these subjects. For one, we want them to know there's an opportunity for them within the sector of the industry. We want them to know, too, um, that there's opportunity to make a good living and support their family and their community um, by being involved in this sector of the industry. And three, let students know that it's not all about, um, you know, production agriculture, meaning you are in a field um, toiling for a crop. A panel of judges will review the applications and select the recipients. Grant funds will then be paid to the public or private school. The deadline to apply is August 1st. A Texas dairy farmer who caught bird flu appears to be the first known instance of mammal to human transmission of the virus. That's according to a new study by researchers at the CDC. The worker had repeated close contact with dairy cows near other infected herds. The man was treated with antiviral medication and never became seriously ill. Still, his case is shedding new light on bird flu. It confirms humans can get the virus after contact with cows. At the same time, it illustrates how hard it will be to track an outbreak like this where a positive test could mean a farmer loses days of work and pay. There have already been rumors of dairy workers who are sick but don't want to be tested. And after years of work, the leaders of both the House and Senate Agriculture Committees have revealed their separate farm bill frameworks. Both proposals support an increase in spending on rural broadband, boosting the trade of American products abroad, and funding for research at America's land-grant schools. However, they remi remain divided on food stamp benefits and on the use of conservation funds already appropriated. Currently, we are under the extended 2018 Farm Bill, which expires on September 30th. Well, hey, that's all for this week's Focus on Ag. We'll send it back to you.